The arrival of the summer sun brings with it a boom in base lace for Hawke's Bay food truck owners. Um, it was really, really popular. Hawke's Bay is an amazing place to have a food truck with everything that happens, especially during the warmer months. The calendar of events, concerts and markets is good news for both food lovers and food business owners. In recent years, there has been more and more food trucks popping up all over the bay, offering a diverse range of cuisine. We started here in July this year. I just wanted to be my own boss and I enjoy food, so it was an opportunity for me to put some of my food out there. Thank you. Started it up because I wanted to be in charge of um, in charge of my destiny and my food and my what I was doing. Just because during the summer and the warmer months, business would die down in the restaurant, and we wanted to find a way that we could take our food to the people. I was starting our business about four months ago. And the reason why we're doing our food trucks, so we're having a donations for our church as well. So we need some more money and then we uh, put in our accounts. There are 61 food trucks registered with Hastings District Council and 46 with Napier City Council. When we started our food trucks five years ago, there weren't that many around in Hawke's Bay. But now it's, it's very common to see a new one opening every other month. Setting up a mobile food base list is more accessible than opening a little restaurant. There's less investment required, much more flexible hours, and you can be in different locations every week. We spent about fifty to 55000 setting it up and getting all the licenses uh, from the council and all the equipment that we needed. The truck, the cost probably is around between eighty and a hundred thousand. I've had restaurants in the past; they're expensive to run. The margins aren't good, and you're at the beck and call of a lot of the times your staff and things. Whereas something like this, with small staff numbers, um, easy to manage, easy to turn off, and limit expenses. The food trucks carried the business through the COVID time, it meant we didn't have to lose any of our staff. And we found that with the food trucks, because they're not classed as um, dine-in, they take away only, we were still able to operate during level three, where the restaurant was um, you know, very restricted in uh, what operating we could do. You know, during these uncertain times, just having a restaurant is risky. While a small business can be easier to manage, it can be filled with uncertainty. Yeah, so the food truck business is very seasonal. Depends on the weather. If it's raining, it's really quiet, but it's just seasonal for the bay. It's very, it's very unpredictable. Um, if the weather's good on the weekend, it's always going to get busy. It can, be, um, it can be very quiet, as today, as you can see, no one around. The food truck business fluctuates from day to day, making it difficult to generate a sustainable income. Learning to survive the colder, quieter months is essential. Not to give up when things get tough. Business goes up and down. Um, it's not always easy, smooth sailing. It can be really, really hard sometimes. So you do need to get creative to figure out ways to get through those difficult times of business. If you are enthusiastic and enjoy what you're doing, what you're serving, interacting with people, then you can make a success of it. You need a good product. You can't be mediocre. And you need to be hands-on from preparing ingredients to serving food, from applying for permits to claiming income tax. These processes require plenty of commitment. I'm getting the licenses from the council. Um, all the paperwork involved in that is quite time consuming. You have like zero break. So you come in 8.30 in the morning and then by 5.30 you've, you haven't had a minute break. Erotic and non-working hours can be hard to balance with home life. McKay started his food truck business in 2016, then quickly built a loyal customer base. 
but had closed temporarily in January this year. I was being annoyed with the fact that the business was invading on family life. So I wanted to have a separation from the business. It got a little bit consuming. That you're always answering the phone or answering emails, um, doing dishes. It took up a lot of time for not necessarily a large amount of money. Today, McKay works as a chef in a local girls' college, which has regular hours and the holidays. I don't wake up in the middle of the night and think, "Have I got enough chips? Do I have enough pulled meat?、Um, I forgot to order the buns, and I've got to go to the supermarket tomorrow." So. It was nice to get away from that and to have、uh, Saturday and Sunday off, which I haven't had off for 30 or 40 years. Those still in business are facing unprecedented challenges. The biggest struggle for us is staffing at the moment, especially finding chefs. Anyone looking at coming into the food truck business, you need to. Consider what your staffing requirements are going to be, especially in today's climate.、Um, we're desperately looking for chefs, and it seems to be really, really difficult to find. There's always something that's out of stock. At the moment, it's、um, chicken nugget shortage in the country. Prices are just steadily increasing, going up all the time. Sometimes in quite big jumps. Oil has gone up 300 percent, so that's a big one. We need deep frying. Dairy and milk has gone up 30 plus percent, maybe 40 percent, just this year alone. So huge increases this year from the beginning of the year to now. Because the inflation has gone right up, everything's just gone up and down. And profit-wise, it's not as probably as much as what it used to be, but we still keep going. As with other businesses, there are good days and bad, but the people in this industry are staying positive. Most important thing is to keep. To try and build your client base, to keep your food and your service as consistent as you can, so that you have customers returning to you time and time again. It's taken a wee while to build up the profit. Now that people know that I'm here, we're getting busier every day, seeing new new faces every day. There's always going to be challenges out there in the world, but we just stick to what we know and we do try to do what we do. We're happy with what we make and happy that our customers keep on coming. Jaipa, local focus.